Norse Myths, a Viking graphic novel, Twilight of the Gods, by Dahl and Garcia. The End of All Things The glorious Azer were the gods of the ancient Norse people. The Viking tribes believed their gods lived in the heavenly realm of Asgard and ruled over the world of mortals and the lands of the dead. The Vikings believed in numerous gods and told many stories about them. The most dramatic story of all is the tale of how the gods meet their end. Odin, ruler of the gods, prized wisdom above all things. Through his pursuit of knowledge, he learned about a terrible prophecy concerning the final fate of the Aesir. One day, the Norse gods and their ancient enemies, the giants of Jotunheim, would fight in a final glorious battle. Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. The gods of Asgard would emerge victorious if they faced only their giant enemies. But during this final conflict, they face other foes too horrible to imagine. Fierce, bloodthirsty monsters. An army of the dead. The savage Surtur and his legions of fiery warriors all are eager to seek the end of the Aesir. The Norse gods fight valiantly and destroy many of their most powerful enemies. But in spite of their bravery, most of the Aesir meet their final fate. And in the end, the world is consumed by the rage of Surtur's fire. For a time, only darkness rules across the land. But, like the Norse gods themselves, the darkness eventually comes to an end. As Odin has also foreseen, one day the light will shine again upon a renewed and hopeful world. Gods and Monsters Odin, the one-eyed all-father and ruler of the Norse gods. He knows that Ragnarok means the end of the world and that none will escape their fate. Thor, the fearless red-headed god of thunder. Thor uses his magical warhammer, Mjolnir, to smite Asgard's enemies. Heimdall, the watchman of the gods. Heimdall sounds his horn, Jalerharn, to call the Aesir to the final battle. Vidar the Silent, a quiet and peaceful god. But when Odin falls in battle, Vidar fiercely avenges his father. He then becomes the leader of the new gods when the world is restored. Loki, a small giant and blood brother to the gods. His anger toward Baldur leads to actions that trigger Ragnarok. Loki leads an army of giants and monsters into battle against the Aesir. Angraboda, one of Loki's two wives. Angraboda hears Loki's call and sends her monstrous children to battle the gods. Surtur, ruler of the fiery land of Muspelheim. At Ragnarok, he battles the god Frey and brings fire to consume the world. Fenrir and Garm, a giant wolf and a monstrous hound that bring terror and grief to the Aesir during Ragnarok. Jormungundar, a colossal snake, also known as the Midgard Serpent. Thor and the monster meet their fate together during the final battle. Frey, Frigg, Odin, Surtur, Thor, Loki. The gods of Asgard and the giants have long been at war with each other. Odin, father of the gods, wanted peace with the giants. So he took in Loki, a young giant, and raised him among the other gods. But Loki later betrayed the gods of Asgard. Loki was jealous of Baldr, Odin's favored son. He created a dart of mistletoe and killed his adoptive brother. In doing so, Loki set in motion the events that would lead to the end of the world. Twilight of the Gods Chapter 1. The Breaking of Chains for his crime, Loki was imprisoned and punished. Loki, for the murder of Baldur, you have been sentenced to eternal punishment. The All-Father Odin dooms you to spend the rest of your life in chains. 
snake venom will drip into your eyes. You will suffer forever for the murder of our brother. None felt pity for Loki. He was a giant after all, and they were gods from Asgard. And Odin's decisions were final. But after the gods left the scene... Sigyn, my second wife. I bring comfort, my husband. The only comfort I want is the death of all the gods of Asgard. I cannot help you with that wish. I know. That is why I must call on my first wife for her help. Oh, Angaborda, hear me! Deep within a forest called the Iron Wood. I hear you, my husband. What do you command? Release our children. My children, your father calls. Your destiny calls. Destroy the gods! The vicious wolves are Skull, which is treachery. And Hati, which is hatred. The two great wolves devoured the sun and moon. With the lights of the heavens gone, terrible cold and darkness covered the world. On the Bifrost Bridge that stretches from the heavens to earth stands Heimdall, the Watchman of the Gods. Hail, mighty Thor! Hail, Heimdall! Winter still rules the earth. Summer and spring have vanished. Why do you frown, ever-watchful Heimdall? I hear the sound of death, Thor. Yggdrasil, the World Tree, which supports the worlds of gods and men with its mighty branches. It is the sound of dragon teeth. Nithog is devouring the roots of the world tree, and as Yggdrasil shakes, the entire universe trembles. Meanwhile, back in Asgard, the realm of the gods, I now hear the breaking of chains. Loki is free! The shuddering of Idrasil has loosened Loki's bonds. Freedom! Husband, please don't go. You are heading to your doom. Bah! I make my own fate. I hear yet more chains breaking. More enemies of the gods? I fear so, yes. And more allies of the giants. <laughs> The chains of the great wolf, Fenrir, have also been shaken loose. But most terrible of all... Garm, the guardian of the underworld, has also broken free. Garm is free? Then Ragnarok has truly arrived. The twilight of the gods is at hand. Sound your horn, Heimdall. Call the guards of Asgard. Chapter 2. The Gathering Armies The gods of Asgard gather at Heimdall's call. Look, my brothers. The ocean rises. This is the work of Jormungandr. The monstrous serpent, the spawn of Loki, whips the waves of the ocean. The growing flood reaches the gates of Jotunheim, home of the giants. Naglifar, a vessel made of dead men's fingernails. The ship was built by the giants through untold ages, waiting for this fated day. The evil ship plunges toward the land of mortals. Loki pilots the ship, leading the giants against the gods of Asgard. Odin calls out to the god of strength and sunlight. Frey, we need your ship. Yes, Allfather. Forward, champions of Asgard. 
The fates have given us this day, a day of death and battle. If the gods are doomed to fall, then we shall take our foes with us. Fight for eternal glory! Chapter 3 The War of the Gods The Plain of Vidgard, the final battleground. A third army arrives to join the battle. Hel, queen of the underworld and ally to the giants, leads an army of the dead against the gods. The great dog Garm hungers for blood. Before the fighting can begin, yet another army appears. Look, my brother. It is our ancient foe, Surtur. The demon has brought the fiery warriors of Muspelheim. Doom to Odin. I shall bring doom to the gods who exiled me to the edge of the world. The forces prepare for battle. Three armies against one. The giants, the dead, and the legions of fire, all against the gods of Asgard. As the armies face each other, another prophecy comes true. The last battle is announced by the screams of Resvalgar, the swallower of corpses. The end of all things has begun. For Asgard! Amid the chaos of battle, Hel orders Garm to slay Tyre, the god of war. Destroy him, my beauty! Back to the underworld, you creature of darkness. No! Tyre has fallen! Do you mourn for your brother, Frey? Then you can join him! You shall pay dearly for that. Ha! You cannot harm me! This day I have killed both beast and rider! Meanwhile, Odin fends off the attacks of the ferocious Fenrir. I don't care that Ragnarok is here. If I am to die, I'll take you with me, foul beast. No, Asgard! Chapter 4 The Last Stand of the Acer. On the other side of the world, in the Forest of Memory, Vidar, the Silent, the Solitary, has long mourned his fallen brother, Baldur. Vidar hears his father's dying cry on the wind. Asgard! My father! I come for you and for Asgard! <laughs> My father will be avenged. I couldn't save you, father. But your killer will never kill again. Across the plain of battle, Heimdall and Loki meet. Your king has fallen, Heimdall. After I defeat you, I shall destroy my so-called brother, Thor. Never! I can hear the beating of your heart, evil one. Is it fear that grips you? You are mistaken, Heimdall. What you hear is the sound of triumph. You won't win this day, traitor. No! Above the battlefield, something terrible approaches. By the sword of Odin! Jormungand! The World Serpent! I have fought you once before. This time, I will destroy you! Behold the power of Mjolnir! My hammer in hand have won the victory! 
but the serpent's poisonous breath is its final and most powerful weapon. <coughs> no enemy blade or spear could fell the mighty Thor, only the poisonous breath of evil. Surtur smiles with victory. His burning sword glows brighter. The twilight of the gods is at hand. Ragnarok, the end of the world, has come. Chapter 5 A New World The flames consumed all, leaving behind only darkness. Complete emptiness touched every corner of the world, except for one. Gimli, the glittering hall, the tallest palace of Asgard. where Vidar the Silent, the last survivor of the battle, honors the fallen. He will soon become the leader of the new gods. Everything must come to an end. But with every ending comes a new beginning. <laughs>